Previously on Inmate X, my neighbor smashed my mama's locket. So I snapped and killed him with just cold blood. And to top it off, somebody in the hood witnessed it. Man, I like that watch, man. Man, they always trying to frame me for something. I can't stand that. I stepped in deep shit. That wasn't proud of my plan. But I had just killed two of my neighbors in two days. I didn't know what to do with myself. Both neighbors had lived around me for years and we hadn't said five words to each other. But then it crossed my mind to call my sister. But instead, I poured me a libation. paced around the house. That evening, they found a dead, young, single woman, 26 years old, master's degree, gone, just like that. I expected 5-0. This time, I saw them coming. They didn't even have to knock because I met them as they approached. Detectives, what can I do for you? We have a few more questions to ask you. Questions for me? My heart skipped a beat. I don't know if they had anything on me, like fingerprints, but I kept playing the cool. Are you associated with a Mr. Marcus White? They threw me when they asked about Marcus. I wonder why homicide cops will be asking about the dope man. You must be talking about Miss White's boy. I watched a lot of kids grow up, you know, to become grown men in the neighborhood, and he's one of them. Uh, is he okay? Yes, he's fine. Have you spoken with him lately? I wanted to tell this fool no. I hadn't seen him since I had my last bag. But I really wanted to tell him if you see him, would you please ask him to send me one? I've seen Marcus around the block the last uh, few days. What's wrong? Is he okay? We understand that he contacts you often. If he should cross your path, please ask him to give us a call. Well, I do uh, cross paths with Mr. White often. And uh, should I cross his path again, I'd be more than happy to relay your message. I didn't like how my second conversation with that detective went. I tried to call and contact Marcus several times after that. I got no response, no reply. Marcus usually treats me like I'm a VIP, but when he didn't return any of my phone calls, I knew something was wrong. But Marcus got up with me a couple of days later. Hey, man, where you been? Glad to 
see you, boy. Come on, y'all, see that cool breeze with you. <laughs> Where you been, man? Cops been around here asking all sorts of questions about you. I've been trying to call you, man, let you know something's up. Well, I'm here now, so why don't you let me know exactly what's up? Look, wait a minute. The cops come over here knocking on my door, asking questions about you. I didn't tell them nothing, because I don't know nothing. What's the deal? I'm trying to get the deal from you. Well, here's the deal I got so far. They came and questioned me about a couple bodies that happened around your crib. You mean the cops questioned you, Marcus? Why? They said they found my watch at the scene of the crime. The one with my name in it, the one I left with you. At that point, I realized what was going on. The police thought that Marcus committed the murders and not me. And on some levels, that wasn't a bad idea. But I wasn't trying to throw Marcus underneath the bus. Now I got all these bodies popping up left and right on me. So why don't you tell me what's up? Because I know you didn't tell the police. Wait a minute, Marcus. Just wait one moment. Hear me out here. Okay, first of all, I didn't know nothing about the watch. Okay, I didn't even know the cops was looking at you, man, as a suspect. You know, to be honest with you, and, and no, I didn't mean for those people to die. So you did kill both those people, and now I'm being the one to take the fall for it. I told you once, I hate being set up. Go and get his ass. Oh, 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 shoot, oh, oh, shit. They whipped my ass over this misunderstanding. I tried to explain my case, but I couldn't talk over a beatdown. They pounded on me till I passed out. Enough with all that damn begging and crying. You try to set me up off some bullshit after I've known you all these years? I'm gonna kill you. Marcus, man, think about it, man. Why would I set you up, dawg? Ain't nothing to be thinking about, all right? You try to set me up on some bullshit after you know I hate that shit. Man, your mama would be ashamed of you. My mama? Oh, man, oh, give me, give me. Oh. 